Hi everyone, myself Harsha, I am Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings. So all of you welcome to Harsha Trainings. So learn Pega in depth all the concepts at its best. In this video, I am going to tell you about how a standard or advanced agent works in a multi-node environment. Before we go to the video, so a small announcement that we are going to start Pega training new batch starting from 31st May of this month and that is starting from next to Tuesday. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have two modes of sessions like classroom and online live sessions. So anyone from anywhere you can join Pega training uh, like online mode or if you are from Hyderabad, you can join classroom training. And the course duration is and the course duration is three and a half months. And we are going to cover from basic level to advanced level covering two real time projects. So one will be taught in the class and the other one is going to be given as um, like an assignment uh, for you to work from your work at your free time. Call us on the number that is shown in this video for any training inquiry and we are going to show you job opportunities on Pega as well as we will help you uh, getting the jobs even if you have career gap after your education. Now let's get on to the video. So let me explain you the concept of multi-node environment. I think previously also I have explained you this. Did I explain you previously? What do you mean by multiple nodes and all? While discussing about data page node level. Okay. So whenever yes. a requester try to log into PRPC in Android application development, first the request will go to web server. Web server is going to um, redirect the request to one of the application server. See, simply speaking, multi-node environment means application will be deployed on multiple servers where one web server will be there in between which is for load balancing every request that comes to application server will have to reach um, web server first web server will re redirect the request to uh, different uh, application servers evenly means thousand users they log in 300 to first server 333 to first server 332 second 333 third 34 to third like this so load will be balanced now in the enterprise application development your live application which is running live pega application usually deployed will be deployed on multiple nodes server one server two server three typically there will be three to four servers <laughs> let's say there are four servers available four servers on four servers see when you deploy your agent development you have done you created one agent and you deploy it onto four servers. Agent will be deployed onto four servers, right? Now agent will be running on four servers. Agent schedule time is given as, uh, let's say for example, every day morning 7 a.m. Let's consider advanced agent. Advanced agent deployed on how many application servers? Same application on four servers. Agent schedule is 7 a.m. in the morning. At 7 a.m., the agent on server 1 server 2 server 3 server 4 on servers agent is there so at 7 am agent will wake up and agent executes agent activity right for example in the agent activity i have written an activity of send email to harsha pega1 at gmail.com harsha pega1 at gmail.com to this mail id i have given the information like sending email agent now wakes up on how many servers four servers and executes activity of send email notification by sending email to harshapega1 at gmail.com from each server. Now, how many emails will be sent to harshapega1 at 7 a.m.? How many emails will be sent? Is it only one email or four emails? Four emails will be sent because on server one, you have Pega application. Server two, server three, server four. Four servers, you have agent deployed. Four servers, it will wake up and send email. How many emails are been sent? Four emails. But my expectation is how many? Only one actually. So advanced agent, when you deploy it on multi-node environment and if it is actively running on multi-node environment, then the task will be done redundantly. Task will be done redundantly. It is not recommended to run advanced agent on multi-node environment only one node it has to be executed to avoid redundancy in the process understand makes sense everyone 
okay next look at here see i'll tell you another role before i proceed to explain more about this multi node environment concept see here agent schedule agent schedule cna this one it looks similar to agent rule form but it is not agent this is agent schedule rule did we create any schedule rule separately no we created agent and we defined the schedule details and once after that is been done automatically a data instance called agent schedule rule created agent is an instance of class rule agent queue agent schedule is an instance of class data agent queue. data instance right data admin operator ready data admin operator access group like this data agent queue when it wakes up it is going to execute itself how does the agent wake up first of all how is this agent schedule instance getting created see there is a master agent what is that master agent master agent system pulse master agent its task is master agent is going to monitor all other agents in pega every agent in pega will be monitored by master agent master agent will look at for this agent is there any schedule rule available or not suppose schedule rule is not there which means maybe you have brand new created it when schedule is not there it is going to note down the schedule of agent and create a schedule instance separately it will create master agent creates agent schedule rule for each agent. it makes sure every agent that is up and running the agent schedule rule has to be created everyone clear agent schedule rule it will create and master agent will note down the schedule information 120 seconds is the schedule time and at 120 seconds interval for the first time when it wakes up it is going to invoke the agent let's say for example every day morning 7 am it will note down master agent will note down 7 am is the agent schedule for agent one at 7 am master agent is going to wake up the normal agents that we create and that agent will process the things by executing its activity and all agent will go to sleep right master agent will note down the sleep time also if it is periodic sleep time plus interval will be the next wake up time it will calculate the next wake up time and stores it and it will wake up the agent at the next wake up time if it is not uh, if it is not periodic if it is recurring there is no need to note down because it will be having certain duration of time every day or every every week or like that it will wake up at the schedule time. so master agent is going to monitor all user agents and it wakes up the user agents based on the agent schedule master agent when it wakes up schedule details it will take from the agent only for the first time in order to create the agent schedule rule second time third time and all it will always monitor agent schedule rule it will always monitor agent schedule master agent will come to agent schedule rule and see 7 am in the morning is the schedule time it will look at the server time both are matching 7 am in the morning it will execute the agent activity it will make the it will wake up the agent agent will execute the agent activity. understand so agent will wake up by master agent agent is going to get wake up by master agent master agent will make sure to create agent schedule rule and master agent monitors the schedule details from agent schedule rule at the schedule time matching with server time it will wake up the agent if schedule time is periodic it will note down at the time of sleep time of the agent it will note down sleep time plus periodic time interval is equal to next schedule time and it will wake up the at the next schedule time understand everyone clear and now for example based on this fundamental concept if i have deleted the schedule rule i deleted it if i have deleted it what will happen my agent will get executed or not my agent is going to run or not agent will not run so but what will happen if i have deleted it what will happen after some time after some time is it going to get created again automatically or not will it be getting created by master agent so if i delete the agent schedule rule after some time master agent will create again and if i want to stop an agent i have shown you some time back you go to dev studio sorry admin studio 
in the admin studio go to the respective agents and then select the agent you want to stop and click on stop it will get stopped now without suppose i don't have admin studio access i am a developer i don't have admin studio access i want to stop the agent how to stop i will go to agent schedule role and i will uncheck the checkbox of enable and i'll save it then which means agent has been stopped understand so you can start and stop the agent just by unchecking or checking the enabled option in the agent schedule rule. now based on the agent schedule rule let's discuss about agent in the multi node environment now i have an advanced agent which is created in development environment and deployed on to multi node environment having four nodes on each node agent will will be there right so while you are deploying agents there is no need to deploy agent schedule rule you don't need to take from development only deploy agent rule what happens in the target server live server automatically agent schedule rule will get created agent schedule rule will get created automatically how many agent schedule rules will get created suppose if i deploy my agent on four servers how many schedule instances will get created four schedules so at run time i mean like at the schedule time master agent will wake up the agent on four servers on four servers agent will wake up advanced agent for example the activity written is send email how many emails will be sent four emails will be sent that is a redundant task that's why after you deploy advanced agent on multi node environment it is recommended to stop the agent on all nodes except one how do you stop it either by log in to admin studio and go to the respective server and then stop the agent or just log into each server and open your agent schedule rule and uncheck the enable checkbox and save it back done it won't be rechecked by master agent at all this is the concept standard agent imagine i have a standard agent created and deployed onto multiple nodes how many agent schedules will get created for four nodes four schedules at four scheduled at the time of scheduling on four servers agent will wake up correct on four servers agent is going to wake up and it will it will run the agent activity on four servers but is it going to run the agent activity directly server 1 server 2 server 3 server 4 it will wake up is it directly going to execute agent activity no on four servers when it wake up it will look up the queue table in case of standard agent in queue table only one queue item is there with status scheduled one of the agent will pick pick the moment it picks status got changed to now processing status gets changed to now processing other agents will not pick there will be a time interval of even some milliseconds okay so now even though four on four servers agent wake up at the same time only one is going to do processing one item suppose four items are there for processing when agent wakes up on four servers it will pick each item and execute its activity so all four all four items will get processed parallelly imagine to process one item it takes one minute a standard agent which is running on four servers to process four items how long does it take if it takes one minute to process one queue item for an agent if an agent is deployed on multi node environment having four servers if agent wakes up at schedule time on four servers and picks the queue item from the queue table to process four queue items how long does it take and say but four minutes or one minute it will take only one minute one because minute. agent mm -hmm. on four nodes will pick each node it will pick one item and it is going to process the item so to process four item it takes only one minute to process 120 items how long does it take 120 by four then on Okay. How, how long does it take? Thirty minutes. It is going to somehow we achieved parallel processing. We achieved parallel background processing by standard agent. Makes sense, everyone clear? Next step. So this is about schedule instance of agent. I'll give you one requirement. Okay. So one question for this, the answer is there in our documents also. You can review back, or you just think about it and answer it in the video if I post this video. see i have a standard agent which is running on four servers but my servers are running in a local time zone the servers are placed in one server is placed in india another server is in america 
and one is in australia and the other one is in japan india usa australia japan four servers are there each server is located in respective country running on time zone but all four are same application i have created one standard agent in my development environment i deployed on to four servers at the time of creating standard agent i will show you look at here at the time of creating agent if you choose recurring and advanced you have a chance of choosing a time interval in one time zone only four time zones you cannot choose okay now i created one standard agent with the time zone of india ist 7 am in the morning and i deployed the standard agent on four servers servers are in usa india australia and japan now agent schedule rule will get automatically created on each server on each server agent schedule rule will get created with the time zone of ist 7 am only. india time 7 am agent will wake up on four servers it will process the queue items india time 7 am means usa time maybe 7 6:30 pm for them or maybe 7:30 pm or 8:30 pm or 9 pm 9:30 pm like that based on their time zone australia also accordingly it will be different processing will not happen 7 am in the local time zone processing will happen 7 am in the india time zone that may be business hours for other other countries now business is asking you to make some change such that the the agent should wake up 7 am india time zone on india server and usa time zone usa 7 am it has to wake up australia australia 7 am japan japan 7 am it has to wake up this is the requirement so for this you need to make the configurations accordingly so what are you going to make the changes that you respond here on this video when it is posted okay so whoever is watch going to watch this video respond with the solution for this